Cross-processing is a technique used in film photography, whereby chemicals meant to develop one type of film are used to develop another. That's to say the wrong chemicals are purposely used. The results are unpredictable, but sometimes look really good. This process can be easily simulated in Affinity Photo. It's all done with the curves adjustment. Start by selecting an RGB color channel, red, green, or blue. It can be any one. The whole idea is to experiment and see what happens. I'll select red. Now, regardless of the color channel selected, you need to make an S curve. I'll push red up into shadows. You can also pull it down, it doesn't matter. Pushing red up will introduce more red and bringing it down will introduce its opposite on the color wheel, cyan. Now when the midtones are highlights, it doesn't really matter which, I'll bring red down to create an S curve and introduce cyan into the mix. I tend not to go extreme, but feel free to play around and see what you get. If I turn the curves adjustment off and on, you can see that the overall color tone has changed. You can stop here or you can do the same with one or both of the other color channels. I'll continue with the green color channel. This time I'll bring green down in the shadows, introducing its opposite or complementary color magenta. And since we need an S curve, I'll push green up in either the midtones or highlights, which will introduce more green into those areas. Take some time to play around with it and see what you get. You can switch back to the red channel and adjust it a bit more. I'll leave it there. As mentioned, you can go on and do the same with the blue channel if you like. I'll do a before and after. You can usually find something that looks good with this technique. Thank you for watching.